G'day everyone, Konnichiwa. Well, I've come to Shizuka now, and you can see in the footage that I'm showing you guys now, that I was on the west side of Japan, that was the uh, Japan Sea side, and I'm, I've am made my way across the country, probably took me about three hours or so, or a bit more, so basically had to go from Niigata to Tokyo, and then from Tio, uh, from Tokyo, Tokyo down the coast to Shizuka. So I've come down to Shizuka and um, I'm down here for a few days and I've come down to paint Mount Fuji but um, Mount Fuji always hides so it's really hard you, you don't get many chances so this spot I'm at like today you can paint Mount Fuji but you can't see Mount Fuji today so unfortunately that's just the way it is so yeah I've come down here so I'm at a place called Yezu Port which is pretty much Yezu Port's down that way behind me around the corner. Um, so if you can see, I'll just spin you guys around. So you've got Yezu, Yezu Port down there. And basically where that mountain is in the distance there, and it tapers off and goes down, you can see a city over there, or I guess that's Shizuka. That's where I'm staying. Um, Behind those clouds on the corner over there, that's where Mount Fuji is. So on a beautiful day, maybe an autumn day would be better, you can actually see Mount Fuji and it looks really beautiful, like the photos and all that. But I've come down here and, um, you know, you can't change the seasons, you can't change the situation. Um, but yeah, I'm here to paint and uh, you just got to do with what you got. So yeah, you can see in the, in the footage there, I've travelled from the Gato and I made my way to um, Shizuka, got Shinkansen to, uh, from yeah, to Tokyo and then from Tokyo, Tokyo down to Shizuka. And uh, yeah, so the, the west side was good, very warm, but now I'm on the, um, I guess the east side of Japan. Um, yeah, Shizuka, so beautiful spot. So this is the Pacific Ocean. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful spot and um, a few days here, so I'm going I'm to paint. So yeah, so today I uh, got the train about 10 minutes from where I was in Shizuka. And then I um, walked and walked and walked. And I, I think I walked from probably like 10.30 in the morning, um, just exploring until like one. 30 in the Arvo, so a few hours walking, just walking around. It was probably only an hour walk, but just stopping, sunblock, water, eat some nuts, keep going, that kind of thing. Like, you can get a cab and all that, but you want to take it in, you want to feel the atmosphere of the place, you know. So, and it's good, you know, because I'm back home, like to keep fit and swimming that a lot. So, you know, here, just plenty of walking and plenty of fluids and you got the it's about 32 degrees so it's not too bad so anyway here we are and I'm gonna paint that scene that view there and I'll, I'll just show you guys here what I've got in place so yeah there's me blocking there's me what I blocked in I'm using the same palette as before set first uh, the cat orange so I'm going to pop the pine trees in here. You've got the mountains, some nice clouds and atmosphere. I've got a bit of the path I'll put in to take you into the painting. The green grass over there and the water and the sea. So I'm going to try and smash this out. Probably because I've already got a good detailed block in. I'll probably smash it out in under an hour. So I'll get this done. And uh, yeah, we'll move on to the next painting. Um, the weather wasn't even supposed to be good here. It's supposed to be raining all day today, but got lucky and it was actually a nice day. So I don't know what the weather holds ahead, but um, I've still got a, I'm here for another four, four days or so, and then I'll head uh, back to the city, Tokyo area. So yeah, let's get this painting done and we'll go from there. Okay, so what I've done here, I've whipped up a bit of uh, Lizard and Crimson and um, Cobalt Blue and then Titanium White, got a mix there. Over here I've got Cobalt Blue, a little bit of um, Cad Mid Yellow and Titanium White. So I'm going to start with my clouds now. There's a little bit of blue cloud up there so I, want, I do want to chuck that in because that will really, if you've got many colours, it will really 
um, get it looking good and I'll get good atmosphere. So just this top corner, I'll, I'll go um, blue. Okay. As I come down, a bit lighter. Okay, now I'm going to start adding the mauves and the whites into the painting in a sec. Okay, work these greys in now. Basically with this painting, the sky and the distance is what's going to make it. It's a simple subject, but if I can nail the sky and the distance, that's a good painting right there. Now this weather's probably going to go a bit pear shaped, but I'm just going to work with my memory, what I had, what I've been looking at the last half an hour or so setting up. Okay, so I've got my sky in, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just highlight. There's some highlights over there, and it is changing, so before it goes, I'm going to um, just highlight some of these clouds to pop it out a bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on this part here. I'm just going to get those mountains in and when you look way out there you can see like a city or I guess it's Shizuka. So I'm going to um, just do tiny impressions of, a, of the city and just get that atmosphere in this corner here and then we'll work on the mountains, work our way back. I'm just getting these mountains in now. I'll put some highlights, but I'll just get the just I've just got the shape of the mountain, those mid mountains there, before where Fuji's sort of sitting. Fuji's sitting on the edge, so Fuji's really like here, but you can't you can't see it in the painting, and you can't see it today, obviously, but um. Yeah, I'm just working on this part here and then I'll get some highlights in. Okay, let's bring this to life. It's just the top of the trees that are lit up. Tiny little highlights.
Okay, well it's changing a lot, but um, the sky looks really nice out there now. But I'll show you guys where I'm at. So yeah, I've got got my highlights in there at the pine trees on the left. I've got the mountain. The mountain now, the mountain shape. I couldn't get it exactly how I wanted it. I was running out of um, space when I'd done the initial sketch, so I've left it at that. Um, basically, this was longer this part and um, then it come off but when I had done the sketch it was a bit further so maybe I could have had it a bit lower but anyway overall I'm happy with how that's looking um, I'll get me water in now and I've just mixed up a watercolor here basically I, I used a little bit of the green and a little bit of the sky color I had and I've come up with watercolor just like that with a little bit of white using a bit of distilled turpentine to thin it Basically, you know, what you can do, people, is um, what, what I found helps. If you use Color Harmony, and you use, instead of making up another color for your water, for instance, use the colors you got, because how, if you want atmosphere, all those colors are in together. You know, so it all blends, you know. So from the dark to the light, from the, from the foreground to the distance, that's how basically or obviously you start the other way you start in the distance and you work your way back but you you interweave all those colors into your painting and that's how you get the good atmosphere so anyway yeah i'll get this water in now This brush is a bit thick for that corner, so I'll use a little brush for that. I'm just working like a house paint consistency with the with the water. I will put a shoreline in, but it's not much. So yeah, the weather keeps changing now. The sky's gone blue over over that way and the way I'm painting, it's still grey, you still can't see Mount Fuji. But anyway, I'll show you guys where I'm at. I've done the water, I'm just I'm gonna just um, add a little bit of depth to the water, I'll just show you guys. Okay, so I just made up a little added to that watercolor a little bit of uh, French ultramarine blue that I had left. I don't really want to crack any more out use up any but I'm just gonna tiny bit of depth in the, when you look out there well it keeps changing but there's a tiny little bit of depth in that water it's a lot before it was lighter in the foreground darker in the distance now it's the opposite you look over where Shizuka is and it's lighter over there but in the foreground it's a bit darker so I'm just gonna play with that Just, just soften it in, just a little bit of a wash and then I'll lay back over it again, make it a bit transparent. This paint's drying really quick, but it's really great because it's perfect for, for traveling, you know. There we go. Happy with that. So basically what I have to do now is just this part here, the wash that I actually put in, the blocking of of the grass and the path and all it doesn't look too bad so i'll probably just highlight the highlight the the grass um i might spread the shadow a little bit but i don't want to change it too much because it was a lot different before than it is now so i'll i'll see how i go i'll see how i go with that part but i'll lighten up the grass there's a little palm tree down there i'm going to pop that in that's going to be right there and um yeah so just the grass the palm tree and uh, we'll have a look at it basically the color I used here the color I used here for this um these pine trees I've added a bit of titanium white to it and I'm using that for the grass 
Now I tell you what, I, I, I'm starting to like the shadows now down on the grass because it gives it more depth before it was too lit up. So I might get that in. I'll, I'll weigh that up in a sec, but I'll just get this grass in. It's all broken, broken up, so just nice and rough. Always, when you get to your, your foreground, right in the, in the foreground, you want things warmer. So a little bit warmer. That really gives you the distance. Tiny bit. Just soften that in. That's it. Okay, I've done the painting at beautiful Shizuka. Near, I don't know exactly the name of this park, but I'm not far, just up the up the park from uh, Ye Yaizu Port. Yeah, Yaizu Port, that's where I am in Shizuka. So yeah, let's have a look at the painting. So yeah, basically by the time I started, now it's it just every hour it kept changing. It took me about, I tried to get it done in an hour. It took me about two hours, I guess. Two and a bit, I guess. So it just took me time and and just chilled out. But yeah, there's the painting. I end up adding some shadows in the path and that there. What do you think of that? Tell me what you think in the comments. I think the sky's nice. And I think I, I, think I got the distance. See, it turned out okay, not bad. It was great anyway coming here, I really enjoyed it. And um, beautiful spot, I wish I could see Fuji. A couple of old Japanese guys went past and mentioned, yeah, Fuji's behind there. And I said, yeah, I know, can't really see it today, but that's just the way it is. You know, you can't plan exactly. Nature's all, nature has its own way, doesn't it? So, so yeah, looking off to Shizuka from Yaizo Port area. I'll put the correct name in the description where I was anyway. So yeah, there you go, there's the painting. Really enjoy painting here, as I said, and um, beautiful spot. Thanks for coming along, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.